Good evening, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends and alike. It's Grant coming at you from Rep City, South Dakota. It's July 13th, I believe, 2024. I decided to leave my mom's house, go as lightweight as possible. She, she has all my stuff. I literally, well, the situation happened, basically got an argument at, in Walmart with her, and I walked out and thumbed it down the road. None of my stuff on purpose. A lot of it I don't really need to be packing with me at the moment anyway, but... Every now and then it helps to get out there and really test your street, street smarts and your street skills and stuff like that and go with hardly anything but the bare essentials of what you need. And so I have a phone. I just now have a phone charger because I had to buy one. Uh, so I have a phone, phone charger, uh, bottled water, a that I can reuse bottled water. That's one tip I forgot to give you in the last videos is lots of free fountains around that are nice and cold and just have a gainery bottle like this and reuse it for water and it would save you having to buy a dollar or two pop everywhere you go which adds up over time and you know i have some uh, tuna crackers that i'm not going to dig out to show you but they're just there as a backup just in case then i have food on my ebt card and then i have a little bit of money left after i bought a bus ticket i'm in rapid city now waiting waiting for the bus tonight four hours from now to get on a bus that's two hours long to Gillette, Wyoming, where I'm gonna get out and hitchhike again. I had to hitchhike from Shatter, Nebraska, up to Rapid, and it was four rides I think it took to get her. But I'm headed eventually here in the next four days or so to Bozeman and then down to Yellowstone to sign up and work for Yellowstone, which is what's something I should have done two months ago because I would have had way more money, would have had a car by now. But it took me four months to realize that it, I don't think I was ever going to get that achieved and shattered in this time frame in the summer before it gets too cold in the winter. Here, I hope you can hear me because it's kind of echoey here. The, the local wildlife, so to speak, told me about the free and usable outlet at this storage facility that I didn't even know Rap City had downtown storage facility. And a nice alcove. Obviously, you can sleep here pretty nicely in the winter or hang out here in the bad weather if you have to. It is under camera, so you want to watch how often you're here but that was nice of him to pass that knowledge on and it's only a block and a half from the bus stop to the transit center i'm gonna take jefferson lines tonight go to gillette and uh most likely hitch out of gillette to sheridan wyoming then billings montana and bozeman montana and then i gotta stop and work some day labor in bozeman get enough money for uh, two pairs of dress pants and a pair of shoes, but the employer's also looking for stuff for me for that on their end because they have some extras, but just to be by size, you know. And they're also looking for the housing because I, I told them, you know, I do the information that I don't want to put out on, on YouTube that I'd prefer to have my own room and get in that housing that has their own room with a shared bathroom or whatever I gotta do, but I don't want to have a roommate or there's better opportunities to work elsewhere much you know, I didn't want to say that but, but I have other options so if I don't get the bare necessities of what I want of working an evening shift or an overnight shift and I'm very well, I don't know if what the word is lenient I guess they're not picky on what I work as long as it's not food service so I had them signed up for a porter which is technically the janitor of the place and then they haul luggage into off the buses and tour buses to the tour rooms and then they clean up the place overnight where I signed up for security but I have to have pass the security guard test thingy for and then I don't know if I can worth all going on for that or I signed up for the EDR the employee dining room cleanup crew or I signed up for evening laundry if and only if on the evening laundry if they send us clear up the hill that for the housing because I'd rather live on the hill because it's got the meals the bunkhouse that's next to the laundry does not provide meals and then they try to stick you with eight people in a room and I'm just, I'm not doing the eight people in a room and cook your own food and everything. That's not, I'm not living like a Mexican, so to speak. There's better job opportunities elsewhere if that's the case. But they have four to four or five different lodges just there in Yellowstone, so I'm sure they'll find me something. Reasonable to do for my age. Told them, you know, I don't mind hanging out at the, you know, basically the summer frat college. But I don't want to live with the college students. There's quiet old people dorms. So 
they're looking on the housing end of it and the job end of it, but hopefully by the time four or five days here passes, I don't know how many days it's going to take me to get to Bozeman, they'll have stuff set up. Then I just go there, work there for a month, possibly, probably two months. I might continue, you know, um, stay there working after buying a van. If I like the job and the whole setting and all that, but work till it snows. And then once it snows, I'll be going south in the van and I will door dash in the van and possibly work Grand Canyon National Park or something for Santerra maybe somewhere like that haven't decided on this winter but that's the goal for now and I'm just you know two months late I should have got off my butt two months ago and went up here did what I'm doing now instead of dragging it out and waiting and hoping DoorDash was gonna pay enough because it just never did it just seems like every time I got a hit a little bit then something else just that was needed for money here or there or elsewhere and I couldn't get a hit at the rate I was going. I have to be making a hundred a day continuously to get to ever get a hit. And there I was making forty bucks a shift, or sometimes twenty bucks a shift in a four-hour shift of the day. Because I split it with my mom. She was working the mornings, and I worked at night. In the evening rush, but just didn't pay enough. So, but I'm glad I I went there. I'm gonna upload this. Before I get on the bus, this video is getting pretty long. I just wanted to give you an update that you can find places like this to hang out at. It's supposed to be 100 degrees, but here in just the shade here, it drops the degree temperature maybe 10, 15 degrees between the cold concrete that's still cold actually, and out there in the 100 degree heat in the direct sun. So places like this you treasure, and I'm pretty sure that guy didn't really want to give me the information on this outlet because the more and more people show up here the more they'll fence this place off or seal it in or whatever you know what i mean they'll, they'll they ruin it for others so most likely at the very least this outlet will go bye bye once more and more people hang out here so i'm gonna try not to abuse it i just want to stay here for an hour or two get my phone charged up on a 2.4 amp which sucks i'm used to a 5 amp but you know it is what it is like and subscribe but i will give you uh Probably a video of going into Yellowstone next. Peace.